everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about two products that I've been using and they are by the Herbivore Botanical brand. They are two masks and you all know that I love masking. One is called the Brightening Mask and the other one is the Pink Clay Mask. And I bought these in my haul video and I'll link that video down below for you guys. I really like the brand Herbivore. I do have another mask from them. Let me show it to you here. It's their Blue Tansy Mask. And I also did a review on this one, and I'll link that video down below too. This is my second jar, my second jar. I really like this mask. Now the brand Herbivore Botanicals, it was started in Seattle by a husband and wife team. They are co-founders, and they started it in their kitchen in Seattle. And they use natural ingredients, which are plant-based, certified organic and food grade ingredients. And each ingredient that they use has a special therapeutic quality in them. Now the oils that they use are either cold pressed or steam distilled, which are pretty much, you know, the way that they can keep their potency in the, in the ingredient. And they make them in small batches and it's all made here in the USA. They use no fillers, no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oils or petroleum. There's no animal testing, so it's cruelty free, so which is really nice. And they use recyclable and reusable containers, which is really nice too for the environment. Yay! <laughs> now the first mask I'd like to talk to you about is the brightening mask. This one they call it the Brightening Pineapple and Gemstone Mask and it costs $48 and you get 2.3 ounce of product in here. And it comes in a nice pretty glass container, you know, they're reusable or recyclable packaging which is really nice. And it does come with a little spatula, here it is right here with a little scoop. And let me look here on their website to tell you more about this product. This is a truly natural radiance mask featuring gentle fruit enzymes, rice powder, and micronized Brazilian tourmaline gemstone. This mask illuminates and energizes skin and exfoliates gently and naturally, giving skin a fresh new glow. The key ingredients are Brazilian white tourmaline gemstone, which naturally brightens and illuminates the complexion. It also creates a slight warming effect, which it did, and increases circulation within the top layers of the skin, leading to healthier skin cells and more vibrant skin. Also, it contains pineapple and papaya enzymes, natural forms of alpha hydroxy acids, which are AHAs, that gently resurface and exfoliate the skin, leaving it smoother and brighter. Natural fruit enzymes are more gentle than traditionally chemically produced AHAs, which tend to dry out the skin, and rice powder which has been used in Japan for centuries to brighten, soften, and smooth the com complexion. And here it is right here. It's kind of like a white, milky white, creamy gel. And it smells like pineapple. It smells really good. And let me say this, that it does say, since this is a natural product, it is normal for some of the larger gem particles to settle on the bottom of the jar. Stir occasionally to activate ingredients. Now, when I did get this jar, I'm going to post a video that you can see the gemstones right there on the side of the jar. So then the spatula that it comes with it, all you had to do is just mix it up. And the directions for use, it says to apply a thin layer to clean skin. Slight tingling is normal with this mask as it works to brighten and exfoliate the skin. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes or until mask is completely dry. Rinse with warm water. Now for sensitive skin, it says to leave on five minutes and rinse with warm water. And for the first three nights, use nightly after the third night, use two to three times per week. So yes, it does say to put on nightly. The first time I used it, I put it on during the day because I wanted y'all to see how it, how it is on my skin because I use natural light. I'm here in front of a window. So that being said, I did use it during the day. It does say to use an SPF when you use this product the next day after you use it to protect your skin from the sun, which you probably need to do anyway. But anywho, I did apply a thin layer on my skin, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> but as you can see, it, it comes on really nice. I spread it, it spreads very nice, and it leaves like a clear gel on your face. I did leave it on for 20 minutes, and during those 20 minutes, I did feel like a warming sensation and maybe a little tingling, especially in my chin area. I guess that's where I need it the most because I do have a lot of texture on my chin. 
I did uh, leave it on for 20 minutes and then I rinsed it off and I will show before and after pictures of before I put the mask on and after, right after I, I washed my face. And I did this mask for three days. The next two days I did those at night and I'll also post before and after pictures. Now, on the first day I did see a difference. I really did see a difference from before and after. On the second and third day, I didn't see that much of a difference. And then on the fourth day, I also did it one more day extra. And when I did it on the fourth day, I also did that one during the day because I wanted y'all to see in the same lighting how it looked before I started on the first day compared to after the fourth day. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, there is a difference. I do find that this mask does brighten my skin and I really do like this mask. I do find that it really brightened my mask, my face. And after the fourth day, I will say this, my husband comes in to the bathroom and he tells me, your face looks brighter. Without telling him, I just did the mask. So I think it works. I really do th think that this product works. And for $48, you know, you get 2.3 ounce. This, I think, will last you six months if you do it the way they, did, they ask you to. The Blue Tansy Mask, that one lasts six months for me. And I did it, you know, I did uh, the first two or three days every day. And I, you know, maintain it by doing twice a week. About once or twice a week. So this one, this one will last you a good six months. At least that's what it did for me. So for the brightening mask, I really do like this mask. I'm glad I got this mask. Now let's talk about the pink clay mask. Here it is right here. Again, it comes in a nice glass jar, the recyclable reusable packaging that they use. This one costs $22 and you get two ounce in here. This one is a dry powder. As you can see in there, this one is a dry powder. Now let me let you know what it says on the website about this mask. And on their website, they say that this mask is a truly beautifying, nourishing, and skin softening mask. Great to use anytime your skin needs some extra nourishment and TLC. There are no fillers in this mask, just skin softening, totally natural flowers, rose hip, and clay. This is an ultra gentle exfoliation and nourishment for all skin types. Pink Clay Mask is our most gentle mask. The flower petals in this mask form a nutrient rich tea when combined with warm water. Pink clay is included for its gentle detoxifying benefits and rose hip powder infuses skin with vitamin C. The result is a skin softening beautifying mask that leaves skin feeling healthy and rejuvenated. And the key ingredients in here are the French pink clay, which is excellent for skin renewal, skin rejuvenation, and improved elasticity. It is high in iron oxide and silica, which help to regenerate skin tissue. Rose hip which I really do like rose hip. It comes from the fruit of the wild rose plant, naturally rich in essential fatty acids. That's why I like it. The essential fatty acids, omega-3, 6, and 9, that regenerate skin cells and repair damaged tissue. Rose hip is also high in trans retinoic acid, which is another reason why I like it, which aids in preventing premature aging. I mean, who doesn't like that? and chamomile flowers, which naturally soothing and anti-inflammatory, chamomile flowers are gentle and, ex and effective at soothing and depuffing inflamed skin. All right here. Now the directions does say to mix one half to one teaspoon of the powder with a few drops of water until a nice paste is formed. Apply to face and let dry and wash off. Now this one doesn't say, you know, to use it every night for two to three days. This one just says whenever you want that extra oomph to your skin. Now, I did use this during the day. I used this twice. The first time, let me tell you how it worked. Now, what you need with this mask is a mixing bowl, one teaspoon or a half teaspoon measuring spoon, a brush, and some water. I use one teaspoon of this product. Now, it does come in a, in a powder form, and it does come full to the top. So for the first time use, it was a little difficult to scoop out that one teaspoon, which, you know, it doesn't bother, doesn't bother me that much because there's ways to, you know, work around it. And after you get that one or two spoons out, you'll be okay. And then I did mix it with just a few drops of water first. And when I did, it was really thick. 
to use. Then I went ahead and just put, I think it equals to one, one, just a smidgen below one teaspoon. And that turned out to be a good paste for me. So pretty much it was a good one-to-one -one ratio. One, one teaspoon of the product and slightly, slightly less of water. One teaspoon of water. Now the smell. The smell, it didn't smell very good. You'd think it would smell like uh, flowers because of the ingredients that are in here. But no, it did not smell like flowers. It, to me, it smelled like straw. Like, like a not very pretty scent of clay, <laughs> if there is such a thing. So if the smell bothers you, you may not like this mask because it did have a distinct smell to it. <laughs> I will say that. Once I got it to the consistency I liked, I went ahead and put that on my face with a old foundation brush that I used just for masking. And I let that sit for about a good 15 to 20 minutes until it dried. So after I let it sit for 20 minutes, it did dry down and I did, it did feel tight on my skin. It felt like the, you know, the tightening, which is nice. I like that. And it did feel a little warming to it. Then I went ahead and rinsed it off. Now I'm going to put a picture up here of the before and after. And I saw a difference when I used this mask. I really did see a difference when I used this mask. Now, after about 30 minutes, I did notice a rash on my forehead. I did put my regular skincare products on after I rinsed this mask off. So I don't know if it irritated that. I don't know. So I thought, okay, let me try it one more day. And I used it this morning and there was no rash. So probably, you know, some of the products that I put afterwards kind of aggravated my skin which, you know, I wanted to try it one more time to make sure that my skin wasn't sensitive to this. So with that being said, the brightening mask and the pink clay mask, I do like the brightening mask better than the pink clay mask. The smell is what's kind of turning me off. I will continue to use this because I did like the results from it and the rash was just probably just a one-time thing, I'm thinking. I'll still let you know about it, but I really do like the brightening mask. So let me just say I did use this mask for four days, you know, one during the day, two during the night, one during the day, so four days, four days, and then I was out of town for three days, so I didn't use any mask. I know, that was hard, that was hard. And then I came, when I came back home, I used this mask, and then three days later I used it again. So just to let you know that I didn't use any other mask with, while I was using these masks. So yes, I really do like the brightening mask. And the pink clay mask, again, I'll just continue to use it until it's gone and I just probably won't repurchase this. Alright, I hope this review was helpful for you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.